to all of my amazing Spidey fans, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. So, without a doubt, Spider-Man is probably and arguably the most popular superhero on the planet. But, think about one thing. Did you know that Spider-Man was actually likely never meant to actually be a superhero? And you're probably looking at me right now like I'm crazy, of course, because, heck, Spider-Man is pretty much a poster boy for superhero comics. But that if we go back to the original early Amazing Spider-Man issues and his first appearance in Amazing Fantasy 15, you will see that Spider-Man actually was nothing like a superhero at all. So Spider-Man made his first appearance in Amazing Fantasy number 15. Everyone knows that. It's one of the most famous comic books ever that probably now has replaced Action Comics number one as a holy grail comic. But if we read that story in Amazing Fantasy 15, and we even look at the way in which Spider-Man is portrayed, we actually can see a little bit of horror influences in the Spider-Man character. And we can actually suggest that the Spider-Man character was actually just meant to be another monster character that Marvel was very, very famous for publishing at this time in the early 1960s. So let's put everything into context. Spider-Man made his first appearance in the early 1960s. This was a very difficult time for comic book publishers because they were under the iron fist of the Comics Code Authority, which was put into place because of a comic book crusade that was led by Dr. Frederick Wortham, who basically tried to highlight the bad influence that comic books had on America's youth. Censorship had become so stringent in these comic books that no one even really wanted to read them anymore because the stories had become so bland, so boring. All these superheroes, in order to keep up with the Comics Code Authority, heroes like Batman especially and Superman, were pretty much just becoming Boy Scouts. And really, at this time, the only superheroes that existed were Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. But Marvel at this time was not doing well. They pretty much were just publishing a bunch of these boring morality tales in anthology magazines. Stan Lee himself has said in interviews that he was getting so tired of pumping out these boring morality tales that, you know, he was just ready to quit it and just leave everything behind. He was just thinking of a sound like grr or oog or something like that to name his monster of the week. So finally, after publishing the Fantastic Four and the success with that, he's thinking, oh, well, maybe I will try to publish another character who's a teenager. And that was Peter Parker, who made his first appearance in Amazing Fantasy number 15. Now let's look at Amazing Fantasy number 15. This was a failed science fiction anthology magazine. And that's where Spider-Man made his first appearance. So you can really see Spider-Man as a vestige of that era where they were just pretty much doing these one-off monsters each week. You can even see that what was happening with Peter Parker was just something out of like a cheap horror pulp magazine. Like really, he gets bitten by a spider and he now gets these powers and essentially becomes kind of like a spider monster. And you can even see that with uh, the way Steve Ditko portrays um, Spider-Man in those early, early panels. I mean, he's all distorted and he looks really, really creepy. He looks more like a monster rather than a Superman. And to compound that, we even can see that Spider-Man initially, without a doubt, is not a hero. He tries to use his powers for selfish gain and to get fame and fortune and, and glory. But as we all know, that does not end up working out for him. And as the popularity of the character increased, the character started becoming more and more of an awesome superhero. The awesome superhero that we know and love today. So I would love to hear from you all. Do you agree with me? Do you think that Spider-Man was not really meant to be a superhero at first? Let me all know in the comments. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.